<coughs> Hi everybody and welcome to the TWF and, uh, NXT and today on NXT we got the general manager of the TWF women's division Gil Kim in the ring and, but, um, as the general manager of the toy rest of the TWF women's division I have many responsibilities and one of the responsibilities is stripping women of the belt, divas, knockouts, whatever you want to call them, of the belt when it's going to be a pain, when they don't want to defend it or be a pain in the ass trying to find them. You see we got a couple bins now, some under the bed, two beside the fan, one against the wall, one in the closet. One near the trash can. And we're not even sure which one of those ones that AJ Lee and wound up being in. We were both in the bin without the lid when it started. I was I was right on top of James Storm to be exact. No, no sexual scent, just laying there. And um we all fell over. And then eventually I don't know what happened with AJ Lee. Maybe she did get put get put in one of the, the white bins or the brown bin, or maybe even it was the bin near the trash can. Don't know, and ain't gonna drag time trying to dig her out. So I can use this as the excuse to say, AJ Lee, you have been stripped of the TWF Women's Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Gilkin said, I told you I'd get even on you. And now I have the responsibility of naming the number one contender to the TWF Women's Heavyweight Championship. Now, I have made a lot of friends, and I have two close friends in the Toy Wrestling Federation. One would be Madison Rain, and the other one would be Molly Holly. So, Molly, I say that it would be cool. I would say that it would be cool if you would face me for the TWF Women's Heavyweight Championship. Well, you know what actually would be more cooler, Gil? Remember, Gil, I'm the one who helped get you in the world wrestling entertainment the first time. I'm the one who sent the audition tapes to Talent Relations, you know. I'm the one that helped to get Jim Ross and Vince McMahon to even sign you a contract. If it wasn't for me, Gil, your World Wrestling Entertainment first stint wouldn't have happened. Hell, your second stint wouldn't have happened. And we all know that you're too total non-step action wrestling stents probably wouldn't have happened either. So, why don't you just give me the belt? Why don't you just award me as the new TWF World Heavyweight Champion and then I, and then I will face you in a later date. Well, yeah, that sounds real fair, Gil Kim says. It sounds real fair. Ladies and gentlemen, the new TWF Women's Heavyweight Champion is one of my good friends, actually somebody who actually helped me get into the WWE the first time, Molly Holly. <laughs> and AJ, wherever you are at, either you're in the big brown bin near the wall, one of the two white bins with a fan on top of it, either in the bin near the trash can. Just let me know when we finally take the time to figure out which one of the bins you are and dig your ass out, you'll no longer be the TWF World and TWF Women's Heavyweight Champion. And oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. You know, 
And, you know, and also on, on another sad note, um, and also on another sad note, and this might just be ringing up there with all the other sad things we had to go through. Now, I think it's only fair that me and you have a match. You know, I think it's only fair that me and you have a match for the TWF Women's Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, we know the referee's at. We know where he's at. So, yeah, there's the referee. We know where his ass is at. So it's not even a question. Um, so, yeah. There's where we want to put it. Referee, ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Well, we got a prompt to TWF Women's Heavyweight Championship, or knockouts, or divas, whatever you want to call it, between Gil Kim and a and uh, Molly Holly. AJ Lee, we don't know where she's at. She's either in the bottom bin with the fan on top of it, the white bin. Either she's in the brown bin near the wall. Or maybe she got transferred to the bin there, the trash can. We don't know. Molly Ollie drop kick down Gil Kim. Molly Ollie body slam Gil Kim here. Gil Kim getting pissed off now. Close line down Molly Ollie. Here we go. Eat. Eat the feet. And that was her move she started doing during her second stint in WWE and TNA before with the Hokana. Will Gil Kim, will Gil Kim try to be, try to become, try to make herself a six time, try to make herself at least a five time TWF Women's Heavyweight Champion with one, two, three, four, five, six. Make herself a six time TWF Women's Heavyweight Champion. What happened? One. Two, three, ding, 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 here is your winner, and the new TWF Women's Heavyweight Champion for the sixth time, Gil Kim. Yeah! I did it, Gil Kim said. I broke the record of anyone who ever held a belt. I broke Kalistro's record. I broke AJ Lee's record. Hell, I even broke E. Torres' record, and... And even my good friend, Madison Reigns record. <laughs> well, Gil Kim is celebrating her shitty ass victory she got, so let's go get her TNA theme music going. We all know people that, uh, that, that her theme song might not be her theme song much, much longer. Diva talks to Chief Brand Officer. You think I'm fired? Diva Talk says. You think I, Diva Talks, am fired? No, I'm not, Diva Talk says. Kurt Angle lied. Kurt Angle pulled a figgy, people. And Kurt Angle, you're fired. Diva Talk says. The board of directors, the principal owner of Astronomy and Eclipto, the chief executive officer Aladdin, and the chief operating officer Princess Jasmine 
never fired me as chief brand officer. So, you probably wonder why I'm such in a pissed off mood. Because I had some asshole come out here yesterday on Friday Night Smackdown. Some, I guess, uh, well, a, do we use the term, we're going to use this term on him. self oclaim Olympic gold medalist because he self claimed that he was Olympic. You know, I had this self acclaimed Olympic gold medalist come out and he claimed that he had taken over my spot when we all know that ain't happened. Because I talked with them and they even know they're very disappointed in me and disapprove of my actions of late, they did not fire me as chief brand officer. Well, Gil Kim said, you should be happy to know I'm a six-time TWF Women's Heavyweight Champion. Oh, Diva Top says, congratulations, Gail, but since I'm in a bad mood and you just happen to be in this ring, and since you're the general manager of the TWF Women's Division, you get a return match with your good friend, Molly Holly. Ronell people, Ronell people, we finally know that Diva Talks has not been fired, that Kurt Angle had lied, according to Diva Talks, she said Kurt Angle had lied, said he wasn't, she wasn't really fired. So yeah, that's it everyone. That's every, that's it everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, TWF NXT. We'll see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw.